Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thanks for tuning in to The Philosopher King, a RimWorld royalty series of benevolence. A little recap of the rules and goals that we have for our community. And then of course, uh, the outstanding projects that you have all voted on that I am still working on. So I wanted to address a few of the comments. First, a lot of people mentioned that this stockpile zone, let's call it the Peck um, Freezer, uh, isn't set up correctly. So I'm gonna have it be critically important that the raw meat, uh, and we'll include insect meat, goes in there for them. Another thing I wanted to do is make sure that uh, animal grazing stays out of there. My grazers don't need to graze on meat. That's just not the correct settings. Uh, another thing, to start re-sowing the hay fields, and then um, let's change around some of these hay stockpiles. So I'm gonna have two hay stockpiles here, one and two. Call this hay storage. Uh, hay storage is going to be nothing but hay. And then this is going to be uh, hay for kibble. And this is going to be critically important, nothing but hay. Uh, that way we don't have to travel so far. Another comment I received is to allow corpses animal-like corpses that are insects into the um, into the regular kitchen so that we can haul it a little bit easier and then raise up the importance uh, for the butchery. So that way, if we're hunting, we won't leave so many corpses behind out there. Okay, let's get some hunting done. So the, uh, the fate of this bedroom here, I will leave it to you in the polls in two days. We will have the polls decide what I can do with this bedroom, I'll put a bunch of different, a variety of different options. Um, and you all will be able to decide uh, whether I uh, can change it, I have to leave it, or modify it in some way. I'll put a bunch of options up. So we have, oh, the Rego of the Lake visitors. Yes, you little war merchants. <clears throat> Let's go trade with them. I'm going to give them all my pemmican. And we are going to give them my uh, plain leather clothing stuff. All this fancy furniture. Or uh, sculptures, rather. And that's... That's it. Uh, maybe a few herbal meds. Just to take every single last penny they have. Um, undignified throne room. I can fix that. And now, for kibble, now that I have a bunch of hay, I'm going to remove vegetarian from the queue, because I don't have a lot of vegetarian stuff, and add just the, uh, just the hay. Oh, uh, Wark Puppy. Hi, Wark Puppy. You're a beer god. Named after one of my patrons who won the raffle, so congratulations to you. A quick recap on the quest. I've got the prison warden here with Chef and, uh, Levine, or Levin, um, and that should be coming soon. There was a question that possibly the ship landing beacon could be targeted by pod raiders, so it might be wise to, um, to get rid of that. All right, Zero, I want you working on tailoring, so I'm going to reduce the, um, the queue for a lot of these other things. We have 2,000 uh, steel and change, so I think we're fine with that. And I want him tailoring up uh, new clothing. Rhino leather pants. Nice. Oh, Muffalo want revenge. Now, because it was a... There's two different types of revenge. There's the herd revenge. And then there's the, um, <clears throat> the individual revenge. And the warning message that you get from them is orange or red alike. So as you can see, this one was an orange one, which is not the herd. If it was a red one, that's the whole herd. Um wanting revenge so it's a neat little way to to be able to differentiate at a glance okay repairing up zero's bedroom because he she excuse me had a little bit of a um tantrum so the warg uh they now have Plenty of food. Animal hauling should probably not include the new construction projects. Heck, it should probably not include these old ones. Oh, speaking of old ones, uh, 
I am going to break down this little built bedroom that Gelly told me to build, or this little uh, monument. I don't really want to call it a monument because it's not very monumental, but uh, we're going to break that down anyway. Uh, I'm really hoping to get the um, brain wiring research done, which will allow us to make pain stoppers. Now, there was a bit of a patch uh, that happened recently uh, that, that uh, dramatically changes the effectiveness of some of the implants uh, that uh, we're able to make. So if we go into the research tree, for instance, and check out um, specialized limbs, the power claw, for instance, um, is uh, not as strong as it once was. Or at least that is according to uh, my RimWorld channel on uh, Discord. I probably, let's see, tuning. I suppose I can read the, uh, the patch notes later. It's kind of hard to multitask. All right, so the shuttle for them is coming in only nine hours. Then we'll be Sans Prisoners. Zero's going out to hunt. So I watched a little YouTube video that was linked to me about what it, what makes a castle a castle. And it's actually pretty straightforward. It's essentially uh, a fortress that can repel invaders that you also live in. Whereas a fortress, of course, is uh, something that you can repel invaders, but it isn't necessarily, uh, you know, it doesn't house humans. Jan Sui and Faustopia are getting married. So let's get everyone back to uh, our recreation room. Attending a, a wedding would be a very good way to uh, improve moods and the like. So let's go ahead and do that. Look at them. Alright, so now they're celebrating. Awesome. They have now married. Well, congratulations. And the shuttle arrived. Uh, I'll deal with them in just a second. I don't want to cut this party short. Alright. Uh, Bubbaloo is going to see... The prisoner's off himself. He was their warden for all of these days. Or actually, you know, it was kind of a full season. Bubblu would rather just gain authority sitting on the throne. Alright, there we go. My respect for the other royal monuments. Uh, as you can see, not, not, not a whole lot of respect. Alright, farewell, prisoners. I hope... Uh, I hope they're they're kind to you. All right, so we got some gold as a, re as a result, which is going to help with our advanced components. Uh, zero ought to be yeah. Zero is machining up advanced components, as you can see. Um, normally I would set up uh, shelves to allow for quicker um, fabrication, but I I think it's very likely that the whole footprint of this base radically changes. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, basically, I, in the process of redesigning this entire base uh, as being more castle-like, I could just say this is a castle, by the way. I mean, it has walls. It has a place to repel invaders. It, it's a, it's technically a castle already, but I want to make it more castle-looking, um, giving it battlements and the like, even if they're only pseudo-functional. But that is my plan. So, uh, as far as battlements go, I was planning on doing something like this. So, for security, uh, at the corner. So, what I'm going to do, let's plan this out. Eventually, I want... I threw the walls that I have together in haste, um, and 
now that I have a better idea of how I want to build them, um, I can redesign them. So I want a little bit of space between my bedrooms and the outer wall. So something all akin to this. And then as far as uh, the castle battlements go, uh, I'm going to recess the corner here. Um, and have it be uh, barricaded. Something like this. Where I can put turrets uh, and arm my people and have them fire. Uh, but what I think I would want... Let me cancel that. What I think I would want, I have to kind of prototype it, um, is... So this is the corner. Here, let me, let me do the corner first. This is the corner. I would have doors that leads to the battlements. So it would look something like this. And then that's going to be too big. I don't want it too huge. Uh, Something akin to that on the corners of my uh, on my of my buildings. Yep. Yes, one could say I should have done my homework and prototyped this on my own time. But uh, you could, you, I think it's helpful to see me work through the the thought process. Maybe a little bit. That that's pretty ugly. I like the one I did before. Sorry, Mathis. Mathis is like, dude, dude, stop, stop changing it. All right, so we'll just keep it simple. This is very nice and simple. Uh, this also means that this outer wall is going to come about like this. And then, uh, periodically, I want these sort of pillboxes, um, or whatever you want to call them, around the, uh, the whole area. So the thing here is that this acts as an airlock. And also like sort of a, a panic room uh, of sorts in the corner there. And I think, uh, I think the the sort of battlements that I'm adding will evolve over time. Um, one really important design will be to have turret coverage covering everything except for the bedroom area because we do want to bait sappers. And that is something I, I still want to do. So we'll get the, the castle corners up. Um... And then if we say that this is the center line, and we'll retain this as center line, uh, it's 49 tiles out from the center. So this should be 49, which means that this should be 49, which means that the wall here is going to be bumped out as well. Um, I 
on. Something like this. Oh, wow, everyone's getting married. All right, all right. Tis the season, I suppose. And then I have to drain this mud here to be able to do that corner. All right, so attending a wedding is about to double up. At least we'll have really good moods. Everyone's here, except for Math. Oh no, Math just walked in. All right, double wedding. Uh, sorry to say I'm not even watching the wedding. I apologize, but um, congratulations to the betrothed. And another important thing is going to be, uh, rather than a moat, um, you know, just removing trees and the, and, and the like, the cover. Uh, so maybe putting a concrete or something similar uh, flooring around. It is too bad that you can't place water, but uh, it, does, it makes sense that you, you cannot. Alright, so now, uh, attending wedding times two, 35 bonus. Pretty nice, right? So usually, Randy giveth, Randy taketh. So, um, sort of hold my breath for when Randy will taketh. Actually, you know what? Um, oof, this is going to hurt. But let's cancel this. Uh, this southern wall needs to be lowered anyway. Because, um... Uh, because I don't want it hugging the, the uh, double strand. Uh, it makes it very, very difficult to protect the area if it hugs the double strand like that. So, it's quite a project. This I acknowledge. And I think it will increase in, um, in complexity as, uh, as time evolves. This is just iteration one, let's call it. Huge construction project, but this will be the the outer, uh, like Bailey walls or whatever you want to call it. Now, as you can see, there's there's definitely some mud that is impeding my uh, my progress. We'll get that uh, research for uh, moisture pumps soon, eventually. The idea here in the corners. Oh, shoot, frenzy. Cool. Uh, quest expires. Yes, I plan on not doing that. Same with this one. Um, eventually having turrets in these corners and then probably throughout the uh, structure itself. Uh, it won't be perfectly symmetrical, but it just has to serve the purpose. Uh, so another thing I want to do is uh, concreting up Two tiles. This is for speed of movement, so that my troops can deploy uh, rapidly. Um, yep, it's going to cut into the hay field, but uh, I guess oh well, it's just a hay field. And that way we can run around the perimeter uh, quickly. Request available. Attack for profit. That does not sound nice. Um, Man, all of these quests are just mean. So it's a ton, a ton of tribes people, and uh, we get a lot of royal favor. 
but it's sort of a unfriendly quest. Man, staying benevolent is really tough. We'll have to mull that over because one of our one of our goals is, of course, to attain royal favor. I just don't feel great about doing it. Attack for profit. I mean, literally, it's called attack for profit. There's like, there's no way you can spin it to like, oh, this is good for everybody. Because it's like, no, it's not. Uh, it's certainly not good for those tribes people that are, you know, going to be involved. Uh, Zero, what are you working on? You are making advanced components. All right, so the other worry here is to make so many advanced components that we, um, okay, this is our last uh, plasteel anyway, so I guess that's moot point. But I was going to say make so many uh, advanced components that we don't have the plasteel to make anything else because most of the most of the bionic stuff requires um, plasteel. It's too late. He already ground through it. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is you, Mr. Zero, are going to help with the construction. Brain wiring is done. Very much got to do deep drilling now. Uh, as far as brain wiring goes, uh, let's see. Would we be able to make, not joy wires, um, pain stoppers? This does not require, yes, perfect. Zero, you're going to preferentially work on that now. That's for your own benefit. But let's sleep first. So the pain stoppers are going to make Talon uh, very strong. And uh, Zero won't be in severe pain. I need to uh, heal him up. He's got a... Oh, we got a raid of mechanoids. In pods. Arriving immediately. They're all sc scythers. <clears throat> um, Shay. Would you be so kind as to grab this? Everybody else, conscript. Uh, I'm going to try to do this without um, uh, without uh, calling in backup. So one thing I need to do is um, I'm going to redo this safety zone entirely. Call it barn. The safety was really just to keep the animals somewhere safe. But uh, let's put you in the barn now. All right, uh, these doors, unforbidden. How much time do I have? Where are they? Okay, they're scooting on over. Another thing I could do is sort of um, hit run tactics as well, but um, I think given my turrets and all that, uh, maybe we don't need to. So what I'm doing is I'm filling up the doors so that I can back up through the doors. Uh, we have uranium turrets out front, which should be the, the target and the ire of the uh, attackers. There's a lot of them, though. Oof. Alright, entropy link. Uh, who could I link with? I'll link with Talon. Alright, Shay, I want you just laying down stun fire here. And but that could um, potentially bottleneck them. Alright, this turret. Looking sad. Bubaloo is getting hurt, as is Poppy. Uh, so Mathis, Talon, you go to that one. 
Alright, so minor cuts so far. Chris has a flak jacket, so he might be better equipped to deal with, uh, deal with these guys. Talon will probably topple on over before he even takes a hit. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, that turret's gone. Uh, all you guys focus on this one. Poppy just lost a leg. That's deeply problematic. But bionic replacements should help. Do not get Poppy. Uh, Chaos Skip. Alright, Bubble Blue finally killed that one. Um, let's turn this turret back on. The trouble is, regular bullets do not do much against these guys. But I think we got it handled barely, I mean, given that I lost a leg, but uh, we can always make prosthetics much cheap, more cheaply than we can make uh, bionics. Um, Poppy goes to a hospital. We, of course, are still in this, so let's put some skin in the game. The choke point um, stun launcher definitely helped. All right, don't destroy that turret, please. All right, uh, well, that's gonna be a lot of uh, plasteel components. But uh, at the cost of a leg, that kind of sucks. All right, Bubaloo, Mathis, you are gonna tend to Puppy. And then tend to Bubaloo, and then tend to Chris. Oh, uh, with meds, please. Yeah, there we go. So it was a bit, it was a bit risky to, um, A, not call on backup, and B, uh, um, you know, tank. But, um, I'm a man of risk. I'm a man of risk. All right, Shay, when you get up, switch your gun. Talon, oh, Talon still needs treatment. Uh, Methus, sorry to keep you up, but uh, we still have a, I forgot about him getting knocked out immediately. Okay, everyone's patched up. Uh, zero. The f first thing I'm going to have you do is make a prosthetic uh, leg. Yep. When you're up. And raise that, yeah, it's raised above disassembled mechanoid. And then I'm also going to suspend the advanced components. Or actually, let's just do until I have 10. Um, and that way, we don't have to suspend it in case I forget to unsuspend. Alright, so Talon. Another thing is I could probably smelt down Talon's um, knife. A plasteel knife is not all that helpful. Oh, uh, don't allow rotten in here. And then, um, cremate corpse, uh, rotten animals within 50. So any animals that are near our base gets cremated. All right. Zero, you'll be, um, yeah, take your time. Oh, no, no, no. I forgot that I made him a, uh, a constructor. Alright, so here's the prosthetic leg. Uh, eventually, a bionic leg will be in order, and I will do that. But uh, prosthetics first. So I can get that a lot, a lot sooner. Alright, Bubaloo, let's clean up the blood. 
No, don't kick Poppy out of her bed. There we are. Okay, got the prosthetic leg. Mad Wild Boar. Uh... Okay, I guess. Uh, Mathis, what is your surgery success chance? 92%? Uh, I'll, I'll take those odds. Operation. Uh, right leg. The, the, the one, one of the nice, uh, results of this is that Poppy is a transhumanist, so having another bionic part actually makes her happy. The prosthetic leg over the, uh, over the, um... You know, a natural one will will make her happier. Okay, the wild boar is dead. I can turn off these turrets. These turrets were just insurance, I suppose. Uh, Mathis, hold on. Let's use industrial meds for this. It improves our chances. The uh, if you're curious. Um, Medical potency and medical 10 quality goes up. Actually, maybe it doesn't improve our chances, but seems like the right thing to do. All right, so Poppy now has a prosthetic lake. Um, great. Now we're working on the pain stoppers, which is going to help Zero and Talon and really anyone else that has scars. And working on that outer wall. All right, so one pain stopper is done, or both of them? Ah, both of them. All right, so one pain stopper is going to go in you with good meds, and then the other in uh, Talon with good meds. All right, so Poppy, you're not running around at full speed, but um, Transhuman is quite pleased. So, uh, that really worked out for her. High sector drone for men, males, oof, that's a bummer. Uh, all right, let's not do the operation in here. Let's actually be in the proper hospital. Uh, Bubbaloo, what is your surgery success chance? I know you're injured. Uh, 83%? Okay, so we're gonna do these with Mathis. Because Bubbaloo's wounded and, uh, is not gonna operate effectively. So, uh, Zero's no longer in any pain. I still owe him a lung. I will be searching for one. And now Talon, being a wimp, no longer feels pain, so he won't collapse at the first sight of everything. Uh, which means that he is going to be given the uh, marine armor and set up like a tank. Alright, the uranium mini turret replaced. Great. Uh, animals set to haul, yep. Zero can walk. It's still a little woozy. That's not going to stop him much. Talon's a little woozy as, as well. But he's going to... Oh, vomit everywhere. Vomit on that poor toque. That's kind of funny. Uh, Bubbaloo's fully healed. Bubbaloo, your uh, surgery success chance would be a little bit higher, wouldn't it? Yes, not, okay. By only 4%. So it wasn't it wasn't a huge, huge risk that I did it. And inspired recruit for Faustopia. I just don't have anyone to recruit, which is too bad. 
And we're getting all the plasteel from these scythers. Man, that was kind of a lot of scythers that I had to kill. Uh, they potted in, correct? Yes. So they will also have slag that I can haul. Alright. Uh, heat wave. Uh, so we're in the middle of summer, and it's a heat wave, so it's possible I'll have to set up some, um, passive coolers to keep everyone nice and cool. Uh, Bob. You're supposed to wear the Psycho Focus Vest. Talon, you're gonna wear the Marine Armor. Uh, and actually, Bob, you are going to ditch your Zeus Hammer. This is going to become Talons. And then Bob, uh, we're going to give you the EMP launcher for now. So a high psychic drone and a heat wave. And uh, yet uh, most of our guys are happy because they just attended a giant wedding, which offsets the uh, psychic drone pretty fantastically, if you, you ask me. Uh, go Frenzy for Mathis. Cool. That's going to help uh, get some more work done. I'm just uh, getting rid of the corpse that was in the uh, in the stockpile there. Oh, so that drone ended. Maybe I'll get uh, some positive uh, inspirations, which would be very cool. Alright, so this kitchen storage should not include hay or kibble. So we'll get that out. The, um, the leftover kibble can just be stored with the hay out there. Inspired creativity for Poppy. Man, everyone's getting inspiration. So, Poppy is a very good crafter. Um, I am going to try to make a really, really, really good sniper rifle with her. I don't know if she's going to be able to do it, but uh, we'll, we'll try. Oh, didn't I? Oh, that was tailoring. Whoops. Okay. And then Chris's is shoot frenzy. Faustopia's is recruit. Mathis is go. And Bubaloo is shoot. Uh, paid psychic droner. Uh, let's see. The Empire Spirit, they're being followed by Night Fiends, uh, a Psycho Focus Vest, Masterwork, and Silver. A bunch of turrets. Sure, I'll take this one. Oh, what did I just take? Wanted Prisoners? Oh, no, I t okay, I took the right one. All right, so the Cyphocus Vest. Let's go grab that. And force that, wear that over the other one. Uh, so the Droner is here. I have a bunch of Droners here, so I should probably start clearing these out. Um, but I really want to get some border security first. That is sort of my, um, uh, primarily what I, I want to get done. So I'm going to have a lot of, actually, maybe have it be three. I have a lot of walling to do. Thank you. 
Iterative improvements. It's a term I use a lot, but basically make sure everything is getting better all the time. Alright, so the Psychic Droner, I don't currently feel, but yeah, we'll have to clear those out sooner or later. That is a lot of corn. Holy moly. Let me try to sort out the, uh, <laughs> my, uh, stockpile here. I have a lot of milk too that um, that I kind of need to do something with. Clearly my kitchen or pantry or whatever you want to call it is just simply not big enough. And all these herbal meds, some of them can stack. That saves me a good bit of rum. The Ambrosia's already stacked up all the way. Uh, all right. Kibble. All this stuff can go. Some base organization. You know, the usual. Uh, so, my base, despite it being over 100 degrees out, is actually staying pretty temperate. Not perfect, but um, cooler than I thought it would be. Like, these bedrooms are all in the 70s, which is kind of nice. Uh, we don't really have AC set up here as you may have noticed. But, uh, those bedrooms are in progress. Oh, we almost have a lot of the new external walls done. Which is pretty cool. That was fast. Obviously, there's some gaps here. Uh, I'm going to cover these gaps uh, temporarily with just bridges and wooden, uh, but eventually we'll 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 properly set them up the way they ought to be. pretty good. What is my granite at? Yep, so the granite needs... Alright, uh, what, what I'll do is make sure to be using... to doing granite everywhere. We're gonna run low on the strong stone. And then uh, additional concrete tiling. So we'll have like a 3x3 three three border bubble. I need to mine out some of the mountains that are in the way. But I'm going to work on the wall first. Uh, zero. Mine. Quest active. An um, intellectual neural trainer and advanced components, but there's an unknown threat. Okay. I mean, that's neat. Well, guys, that's about all the time I have. I hope that you like how the, uh, the castle walls are shaping up. I wanted to say thank you to everybody that commented usefully, um, informing me that I needed to fix the warg freezer or 
change corpse hauling or everything else. Um, if you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me, do drop me a line. My patrons, if you have suggestions for the poll that will be aired um, in two days, drop me a line on Discord so that I can add it to the polls in time. For everybody else that's just watching, thanks for your likes and your comments. I'll catch you all next episode. Farewell, everybody. <laughs>